Kia ora te whanau. Here we are, 2019 New Learn, setting up on a Tuesday. The bro Jeff here, Zoe, Viv, Etaroa, and a bunch of others. We're all here to celebrate with teachers, work with teachers, show them what we've got. We've got beer, conductive paint, makey makeys. What did you bring, Jeff? Um, micro bits. Micro bits, cool, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, we've got water beads. Got setting up some little cooking. We've got these yeah, snakes. Yeah, wait till you see that one, Fano. Little snakes there. Uh, you know, like Rubik snakes that you can turn into all sorts of things. Yeah, like you're doing binary and making shapes. It's really cool. And based on like just a traditional toy. Yep. You know, yep. and we can it's blend in comp sci. That's the cool thing about places like you learn, and you know, we can see what other people are up to, what other people have to offer, and you know, how we can just grow our community. Here we are, day one, Wednesday, first day of Ulu 2019. Here we are at the OMG Tech Store. We've just had our first big rush. We're popping off with the VR, Oculus Medium, getting the teachers to draw in 3D space where they can export it out, possibly 3D print it, chuck it in an animation, chuck it in a game. What else are we running, Mati? We've got signing up, we've got our uh, conductive paint store. Yeah. Uh, so you can make like uh, interactive murals, really sick sound pieces, custom musical instruments hooked up to a makey makey. So you put these little water beads down and as it triggers it with the water beads, different parts of it and it tells the history and narrated. So cool crazy applications using like micro bit technology at the back there, makey makey's conductive paint. Uh, kia ora te whanau, here we are. Uh, yeah. Let's go, let's go, fam. Yeah, so what are you repping? What are you volunteering for? Well, today I'm volunteering for 21 uh, skills lab, but still, my heart is still to OMG Tech. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're legit right next to each other. Have a look, have a look, fam. Yeah. Space. Yeah. We're together see, here. Yeah. Communities, see, in the tech space, the AG Tech, we're all whanau, you know, helping each other out. Exactly. But yeah, yeah. what are you most excited for, Ete? I'm really keen to go up with Arzo to tell these teachers about Voluntarily. Um, I just joined the team just recently, but man, everyone out there know about voluntarily. When you hear it, you'll know. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll continue to vlog the whole thing. Jeff's on very shortly. He's doing his uh, CD light boxes, um, which is using recycled CD cases with LEDs to light up. And now, if we go up to the eye icon in here, we can actually just change the aspect ratio. Right, here we are, finally, with the bro Nikura, young animators and his crew at the back, just doing some mad animation on the iPad. Look at that, Fano. So sick. You know, simple, easy, clean, gets the kids engaged. Now, I was engaged, and I know all the teachers here were also engaged. Um, and then it just takes away that barrier from professional software and gets you just playing like a kid. Make it simple. Once they've gone out and done their conductivity, you got it? <laughs> <laughs> Love that sound. Love that sound. <laughs> in a way that's accessible, fun, completely different from anything else. And we like paint. Who doesn't love to paint? So welcome to Telling Stories and Conductive Paint. Rather than talk about it a whole bunch, I actually want you guys to just do it. Yeah. Right, we're a just do it kind of people. So I'll do like five minutes of talking and then you feel us keen to get your hands dirty? Yeah. That's yeah. sweet. Think about making an instrument or a gaming controller of some kind for somebody who may not have that access or may it may not be as easy for them to access that technology. Right? So this is quite nice, this is about humanitarianism, things like that. We can enhance controllers. So this guy used conductive paint to add in drums with a loop button. So now he does all his drums on his guitar and then strums away. And then does his drums. Right? So now he's added on to, to an instrument and made it even better, enhanced it. You can start making an LED one. 
So all you need to run an LED is two lines, one for ground, one for power, and you use the paint to attach that LED. So we just finished our Tell Me A Story with Conductive Paint session with 35 teachers. Super cool. We left them with a lesson plan using Conductive Paint so they could express themselves with their picture. Mine was the sad clown. We think about creativity kind of like we think about the all blacks. Like we're like, oh for me to be creative, I have to be a fine arts painter. And if I can do anything less than the Mona Lisa, then I shouldn't do it at all. But creativity is like so good for us. Hi Fifth. Uh -huh. <laughs> in here, our backdrop, what kind of environment is our character playing in? Right? For my one, a forest, cleaning up the bush. Your one could be an environment on in the ocean, cleaning up the beach. Building challenges, so build a Lego house, each team member places one block at a time. Um, so they have to work together all the time. And then because the purpose is for each team member to feel valuable and that sense of belonging, there's also a cheesy thing called compliment cards, so if they're complimenting the other team members on what they're doing, they get, if it's specific, they get compliment cards, so they might win by being the kindest team, not just by being the best.